This is the emergency broadcast system. And now, it's time. All this something, all this, uh, all this, oh, just all for well playing. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during this emergency. Um, now, one thing I definitely wanted to talk about, well, I, I know all this uh, really wanted to talk about was we recently uh, lost, uh, we, we recently had the passing of, uh, of, of some comic book uh, royalty, as as you might put it. You want to uh, speak on that, all this? Yeah, so the last year's been kind of rough. I mean, we lost Tim Sale, Neil Adams, and George Perez. But um, this week, uh, we lost Alan Grant. And Alan Grant, to me, means a lot. Um, he was a writer that career, his career spanned decades and man, just about probably as many titles, but um, he, I mean, a lot of people are, it really depends on where you were and when you first experienced Grant's work, because you're either going to reference him for his work on Punisher or Batman or Lobo. Um, but for me, it was, um, it was 2000 AD. And 2000 AD was a book that when I was a kid was really hard to get in the States. You just, I didn't see it that often. And I remember both uh, the issue and the day, and it was uh, the summer of 1988 in July. Um, my dad took me to an LCS. And for the first time I saw a 2000 AD book and I spent $3 on it at the time. And my dad was livid with me because I bought one book for three bucks instead of grabbing two books off the stand. But that 2000 AD book, um, I still I still have it. It means a lot to me. Um, it, it's it was the first time I'd ever experienced anything like that. It was something. It was 2000 AD at the time was a world of difference from what Marvel and DC was putting out. It was just as different as everything that CG is putting out compared to the mainstream right now. It was just a it, it was a different world. And Grant took me down that path. And for the rest of my life, I've been reading his work. And it, this one hit me hard, man. He he was a great writer. He he discovered Alan Moore. Um, that's probably like the big thing for me. Um, and everybody likes to malign Moore for everything that he you know has done since then because he started the deconstruction era of superheroes and everything. But when he was working with John Wagner on 2000 AD and Moore submitted a spec script, and the the story goes is that. Grant read the script that Moore produced and turned to Wagner and said, this dude can fucking write. And they hired him to 2000 AD. And then by being by his work on 2000 AD, he was brought to the attention by Lynn Wein. And then Lynn Wein hired him to uh, work in the mainstream. And then he did Swamp Thing. And the rest is history because it starts off Alan Moore's career. So mm -hmm. if, if you remember nothing else about Alan Grant, I mean, Alan Grant is the reason that alan moore came over we got but, alan moore yeah yeah but grant alone for everything that he did from strontium dog to judge dread to his work with wagner especially on judge dread i mean some of the best dread stories um standalone mm -hmm. stories are written by wagner and grant and where's he's... rob arnold when you need him one of the only titles he's read dread and he's not in the chat <laughs> But no, man, this guy's a great, he, he was a, he was a great writer and yeah. so many of the great writers are not given the, the herald, the heralding that they need to be. And this guy was, he was a God and you can't like, it's, you, there's a lot of guys that can write novels and there's a yeah. lot of essayists and there's a lot of great reviewers. And there's a lot of great journalists, but there are, there are a handful of guys that can jump genre to genre, hero to hero and write like Alan Grant did. And yeah. he was a great man. He, he wasn't recognized for what he did in his era. And we lost him. And it's a loss. It's the world's the world's a little bit. A little bit of an emptier place um, today than it was a couple of days ago. And, um, you know, there was a uh, professor. Tim Wilson uh, said that uh, the world was richer for his contributions and that I, I can't think of anybody that put it a better way in that Grant Grant was a. It was a giant. He wasn't recognized really for what he was. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to pay widely, him a compliment, yeah. the best compliment I can pay another writer in that. I know he said it about Alan Moore, but I'm going to say it about Grant. And he was a fucking good writer. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, when a creator like this, whether they, you know, have that, whether they got that recognition or not, 
um, when they have an impact on you, like like Alan Grant did on you, uh, you know, growing up reading. Yeah, you know, something you seeing something like that is is completely tragic. And uh, yeah, it just yeah, it sucks. It's uh, as uh, Arrogant Eight put it, it's the passing of another legend. We lost a lot of uh, legends recently. So yeah, man. Uh, yeah, big shout out to Alan Grant and everything that he's done for you know the medium because uh, he's done a lot. He has done a lot, man.